Everyone, welcome. I'm Suzanne Gunderson from Screen Right Now. I help screenwriters and industry creatives to naturally de-stress and get focused into their creative rhythm and flow, build tremendous confidence, and deepen their emotional worldview into wisdom and truth. That way they can hook every audience. So today's video is a part of my Industry Wisdom Bit series where I'm bringing you professionals in television and film to share with us just one gem or golden nugget of wisdom or advice that they've come to learn in their career and maybe can help you too. So today we're joined by Sophia Louisa Lee. Sophia, thank you so much for being here today. Please tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, well, thank you so much for having me, Suzanne. Um, I live in Los Angeles. I am a screenwriter, an actor, a producer, and a director. I pretty much take it all on to really create the art form. Um, I, I realized, you know, I started off as an actor, and that's how I got into screenwriting. And the roles I was going out for, I, I didn't want to play. I mean, I was happy to be cast, but I wanted something juicier and something more, more real to it. I knew I could fill. So that's how I got into writing. And I started off with comedy. And, but then I realized there were so many other genres I wanted to embrace. And so I've been going on this journey of, of just creating. And I'm realizing the more I write, the more I get to really know who I am and dig deeper into that. And there are parts where you don't really want to go because it's a little too scary. But to really keep pushing through and to find that true voice and to learn how to detach from the part that is scary, to really put into character or plot to create the story that's going to resonate with an audience. And that's what I find exciting about being a screenwriter and then to put it onto the screen mm -hmm. as a filmmaker. Um, it's really, I feel like I'm becoming a whole new person because of that experience. That's beautiful. I mean, it is a transformative experience to release what you have internally and expressing it through words and then the creative part of, you know, coming, bringing it to screen since you do everything from the act into the writing, to the directing, to the producing, all of it. So you really got to get, get, give birth to a part of yourself to renew. Um, that's such a beautiful explanation. Thank you. But what's interesting too, is like you really learn how to be honest with yourself. And, and that sounds so weird because we're like, how to be honest with yourself, you know, because we all, we all get used to having these different masks or like they say, well, you wear different hats for different things, but to really be able to see each part of it and be okay with it. Mm. That, that's a challenge. It's not, it's not for the faint of heart, you know, especially when you want to create something that's going to really resonate with an audience. You know, it, it takes courage and it takes a lot of strength to really dive in deep without mm. getting thrown off. I think that there you just defined exactly the work that I do in terms of what I call writer's block. It is the inability, um, the, the lack of, 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 um, of space to be able to hold for yourself, to go to those places that might be a little wobbly, unstable, a little bit of fear, and really go to those wounds that we have and those flaws that we have and transform them for ourselves. That way we can rise to a place of peace and wisdom about them and write from them safely. Because if they're just too much, then we kind of keep the door closed on those things. But then our writing is limited for them because we have the kind of idea of the story. But if we can't go and, you know, be in the kind of the messy parts, messy emotionally, and then work through it, then we're not going to be able to deliver the script that we're really wanting to share. Right. And if you think about it, all these experiences are such a gift. You know, I mean, it might seem or appear to be really traumatic and you just don't want to go there. But when you can get to that place to really observe it mm -hmm. and that because then you come from a place of truth as opposed to staying on surface level of what could possibly be right. um, that really is that that is a gift. And that emotional truth is exactly what your audience is looking for, because we wear so many masks, because we are supposed to be so many people for the image focused world that we live in. And, and really to put, take all of those things off and get real down to who you are and your authenticity and your emotional wisdom and share that. And that's what the audience is like, oh, you just grabbed me. You got me at my own vulnerability, my own wound. And where do we go from here? And you say, as a writer, oh, I figured this out. I'll, I'll, I'll take you home now. And we go, oh, oh, I laughed. I cried. I was up. I was down. I was all over the place. <laughs> right. And to allow that to happen. And I think that's just it. You, uh, when you go to a movie, you allow the experience to happen because it seems like in regular life, 
people are so afraid to allow things to happen. You know, it's like, I can't cry. I can't get angry. I can't do this. I can't do that. But to, you know, sit for two hours in a movie theater, which I can't wait to do again. <laughs> um, it, it's really freeing to have that experience. And I think that's why people like horror films because it gives them a chance to scream and yell and be, you know, to really express what they can express in other things or like a good drama, you know, to really cry because they can't cry because they're mad at their boss or, you know, um, they're mad at their kid or whatever. Yeah, so it's just, um, I, I think would be so great though, is if we can allow ourselves to be authentic anyway, without having to go to a movie or, you know, just really be in check with who we are, mm -hmm. you know, and whether you're a writer, actor, painter, whatever, or even if you're a lawyer, you know, to just be true to who you are yeah. now. And what relief that is to just be you, just be you. Right. Mm -hmm. So That's how beautiful. So much <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, we literally have been like holding our breath, you know, contracting and, and, and holding back our lives. And so now it's like, just get, show us who you really are. And, mm -hmm. and then respect that, you know, everybody else has the opportunity to do that too. And just let everybody be who they need to be. Cause we're all supposed to fit together, very kind of, kind of like integrated in the world. Like everybody has their, their piece that they play here. So there's nobody who's going to be left out if we're just all playing the roles that we're supposed to be based on who we truly are. You know? Right, exactly. So you know, off those masks. I don't know why it's so hard though. Why is it so hard for people to do that? I think that we've just been living in such an image focused society for so long that we are always worried about what do they need? How can I be a value? And so when it comes down to the neuroscience, and that's kind of my, my piece of it is kind of the neuroscience of screenwriting and the neuroscience of being creative is that our nervous system goes into protection mode um, until we can feel safe and attached and belong. And so for purposes of being able to belong and attach to something, we say, well, if that's who they are, I'll be that too. And so we betray ourselves and we put on these masks and we live, you know, for other people. And we do this very unconsciously for the most part, but we're seeing out in the world now that so many things are kind of dismantling in front of us, groups, organizations, institutions, cultures, religions, all of that, giving us an opportunity to say, oh, I never really believed that. Why would I belong to that? So, so who am I? Who am I authentically and kind of doing that messy work of like, oh, I'm in kind of like this hallway of life between the old thing I used to belong to and what do I, where, where will I belong to? Well, first, you're going to belong to yourself. Well, who am I and how do I express that? So when you're talking about maybe writing for a different genre, like, you know, and, and really expressing physically, emotionally and mentally something else that kind of helps the body process where we have been held back so that we can move forward into kind of dusting off. Like, what is, who am I shining myself up? You know, and, oh, this is who I truly am. And then finding ways to safely express that. So I think we've just been held back for so long because we've been wanting to belong to what existed in the world. And so much of that is now changing. We're going through a huge transformation in the world. So we have an opportunity to come in where well, and that's and that's exciting. And I know as a writer, you know, you're creating whole new worlds. You know, so to be in that flow, to be that free with yourself, and to just go in so many different directions, it's just so valuable. You know, but I know when I feel like super stressed out or tensed up, I I literally can't write. You know, it's like I have to really check in. You know, breathe. You know, allow that flow to just come through me. Um, but it'd be so nice to see people who are like non-creatives allow themselves to do that too. So I think what you're doing is a valuable service for everyone. <laughs> you know, so I just think, wow. Well, I think, the, I think the value system of the future is authenticity. And I think that we're gonna very quickly be able to sniff out people who aren't real and true because we want that relief in our, in our own nervous system, in our own body, that I can trust you based on what my body is telling me that like, oh, you're not being real. I can tell through your tone of voice, your facial expression, um, even your body language is telling me. And we want the relief of being able to belong with people that we authentically can connect with. And so I think the future is, you know, we really, now we need to strip off those masks and comfortable with our authenticity, find you know what works for us and let go of the past and and start to move forward with momentum of of even sharing our own unique value with the world as a service 
Yes. And for writers, it really is letting that creative flow happen from your gut all the way to your fingertips out into the screen and just, Hey, whatever is is supposed to come through, let it come through. And if there's any blocks to letting that come through, then you call me and we'll work through them. Of course, (laughs) you know, but still, yeah, let's do it. You know, it's like, yes, it's time now is time. Now is time. Awesome. Well, I'm going to title this authenticity for sure. Awesome. Um, so Sophia, thank you so much for sharing that wisdom with us today. How can we find out more about what's going on with you? Well, I, um, I host a podcast called So Zoom In. That's on YouTube um, under Sophia Luisa's So Zoom In. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Sophia Luisa Lee. I'm on Twitter. I'm on LinkedIn. I on Facebook, you know, I, I do the whole gamut for social media. I, I try to stay in tune with what's happening that way. Um, but yeah, I, I'm on there. So we'll have all those links in the description box of the video and definitely everybody go check Sophia out. Um, and thanks everybody for watching today. Feel free to pop on over to my website screen right now and download your free e-copy of three steps to get pitch ready. That way you can get into alignment with you, your script and your audience. Thanks everybody for watching. Thank you again, Sophia. And uh, we'll see everybody next time. All right. Thanks so much, Suzanne.